Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the editor feature. So on the home tab in Word, on the right hand side, you have editor. And I click on that, it's gonna give me a score, which at the moment is 73%, and it's gonna highlight any errors that it can see. As you come down there, you can see that there are lots of different categories, and some of them have got issues mainly the top one spelling grammar clarity so those are issues that i need to look at so it says there are four spelling mistakes and you can see that some of these words are underlined red as you go down through the document there's four of them underlined red now you can either go through this option by clicking on spelling and it will give you the correction so because my cursor was down here it's jumped to the bottom but if i click on that one now it goes back up to the top. Now the correction is there, but you can also, if you just click on this, it gives you the correction as well with some information that you might find useful. And I'll click on when, and then I'll do the same for this one. It's supposed to be document, because what you've got there is a readout. It can read it out to you. Again, you've got the correction with these three ellipses at the end. If you click on that, it gives you some other options like change or spell out and add to the autocorrect if it's a proper word that you want to be in your document. But I just want to click on this, so I'll just click on that and correct it. Now, if I go back over here, now I've only got one spelling mistake, which is this one professionally. I've still got those three ellipses and the option to read it out if i click on this so i'll go back into that you've got other things down the bottom there where you can you can click on that where it's ignoring it or you can add from there to dictionary and then these three ellipses give you some more options so this is quite impressive the way this goes now um, i'll just click on that to change that one so it corrects it so my score has gone up to 91 percent I've still got this clarity issue clicking on that what's it looking at the ball was kicked by me now i know that that is called passive voice and i should say i kicked the ball that's what that means if you go onto the ellipses you've got read aloud spell out in this case if i click on this just physically click on this it will read it out and then i get three ellipses again where I've got some options. If I go into editor settings, you can change what it picks up. Um, that's word options. I'm just cancel that off. I'm not gonna change anything there. So if I click on that, I'll get it to change it. That's called active voice. I kick the ball. Apparently that's better. So I've got 100% according to this. But in my experience, it's still worth reading this out allowed just to check it is exactly how you want it so what i'm going to do is double click in the margin that i'll highlight a paragraph go up to review and then on review you've got read aloud and it will read it out to you if you so wish and you can pause it and then cancel it off if you don't want it. So it's totally up to you whether you get it to read it out, but I recommend you do if you've changed anything or you've typed it out for the first time. You can also add this up to your Quick Actors toolbar. I've got it there as well. So you don't have to come onto the review tab to do that. Now, another feature that you've got in Word that might be quite useful is when you right click on a word, you get cinnamons where you can go down the bottom there and have a look at other meanings or other words instead of powerful i might want to look at effective so video provides effective let's go for that one i'll click on that and then another option if i right click again on that one cinnamons effective i can go into the thesaurus and it will give me some other options and I can click on these, but you've got to be careful because when you click on these, you actually go to that word and it's looking at different words. You can see it's changing. I do get a back arrow to get me back to that one, but you've got to cl click away. Whichever one you want, if you do want one of these, you need to follow the arrow on the right hand side, the drop down, and click on insert. And then 
you see it fitting in there, even though that doesn't really make sense. When you're finished with that, you can close that off like so and close the editor off like so. Now, the key command to do spell check in all Microsoft packages is the F7 function key. So I'm just going to press that and that just brings up the editor again. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can use the editor to spell check and grant check and check that your document reads professionally and flows correctly. So hopefully this video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.